Chapter on what is allowed to say when one is angry or harsh for Allah's sake. And Allah said, O Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, strive hard against the disbelievers and the hypocrites, and be harsh against them. Quran, chapter 9, verse 73. Narrated Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her. The Prophet peace be upon him entered upon me, while there was a curtain having pictures in the house. His face became red with anger, and then he got hold of the curtain and tore it into pieces. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Such people as paint these pictures will receive the severest punishment on the day of resurrection. Narrated Abu Mas'ud, may Allah be pleased with him. A man came to the Prophet, peace be upon him, and said, I keep away from the morning prayer only because so and so person prolongs the Salat prayer when he leads us in it. The narrator added, I had never seen Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, more furious in giving advice than he was on that day. He, peace be upon him, said, O people, there are some among you who make people dislike good deeds, salat, prayer, etc. Beware, whoever among you leads the people in salat, prayer, should not prolong it, because among them there are the sick, the old, and the one who is in a state that requires urgent relief. See Volume 1, Hadith number 702. Narrated Abdullah ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with them. While the Prophet, peace be upon him, was offering salat, prayer, he saw sputum on the wall of the mosque, in the direction of the qibla. So he scraped it off with his hand, and the sign of disgust was apparent from his face, and then said, Whenever any one of you is offering salat, prayer, he should not spit in front of him, because Allah is in front of him. See hadith number 406. Narrated Zayd ibn Khalid al-Juhani. A man asked Allah's messenger, peace be upon him, about al luqata a lost fallen purse or a thing picked up by somebody. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, You should announce it publicly for one year, and then remember and recognize the tying material of its container, and then you can spend it. If its owner came to you, then you should pay him its equivalent. The man said, O Allah's Messenger, what about a lost sheep? The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Take it, because it is for you, for your brother, or for the wolf. The man again asked, O Allah's Messenger, what about a lost camel? Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, became angry and furious, and his cheeks became red, or his face became red. And he said, You have nothing to do with it, the camel, for it has its feet and its water container with it, till it meets its owner. See Volume 3, Hadith number 2429. Narrated Zayd ibn Thabit, may Allah be pleased with him. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, made a small room, with a palm leaf mat. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, came out of his house and offered salat, prayer, in it. Some men came and joined him in his salat, prayer. Then again, the next night, they came for the salat, prayer. But Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, delayed and did not come out to them for salat, prayer. So they raised their voices and knocked the door with small stones to draw his attention. He came out to them in a state of anger, saying, You are still insisting on your deed that is taraweeh salat in the mosque. I did not come out for salat prayer because I thought that this salat taraweeh prayer might become obligatory on you. So you people offer this salat prayer at your homes, for the best salat prayer of a person is the one which he offers at home except the compulsory congregational salat prayer. See hadith number 7290.